Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how to expose your REST service to the public. So here's an article on how to do it. Now I've, I've done this in two communities and I've had to do different steps for each of them and this document doesn't have everything that you need to do either. So I'm going to show you with like a clean community that I made. It's called Customer Service. I already set up Help Center. So you'd want to do this if, say, you have an IoT device and it's not that smart. So it can only do um, one URL request versus two, which is what you need for OAuth. Or if you don't want to set up a connected app or if you want it, you know, publicly exposed without authenticating into Salesforce. So the only way that that I know of is to um, make a community and expose it that way. So for our demo today, the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure our community is exposed to the public. So what you do is you go to Builder, you go to Settings, general and you do public access public connects to the community now the second step is click on the guest user profile right here and we're going to do a few things oh this looks different hmm let's hit the edit button let's go to let me actually, let me show you the code first and what we're trying to do. So I made this object called consumption. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to add, um, you know, just add to the count. It would be, you know, a number or a zero and we reset that count to zero. So let's look for that first. Let's look for consumption. Uh, as you can see, we don't have any access to it, which is going to be bad <laughs> if we try and do anything so uh, just to be safe I check all the check boxes um, and all right let's just hit save so we did that step okay X X add your rest apex class oh right here mm, let's see edit now you're going to add your Apex class where your REST service is. So I think I named mine IoT REST Endpoint and hit save. And then there's like this uh, system settings. Let's just do REST. Oh, yeah, here it is. Apex REST services and API enabled. Um, I'm not too sure if you need those, but, you know, I feel like you would need REST services if you're trying to access REST services and API enabled. So we're just going to hit save. All right. We did, okay, we did those. Now, what we do is we take this link just copy and let's let's use an anonymous tab all right so we're gonna do consumption count equals five. Oh, okay services apex rest Oh, there we go. So here. I'll put this in the comments of the YouTube video. So as you can see, let's go back here. You see it was zero. And now it's five. So you can see from an anonymous tab, I'm not authenticated. And, you know, I just sent that request. I got response back. It changed. Um, let's do zero.
and you can see the count is now zero. So here are the steps. Make sure your community is public. Click on that guest user profile. Change these three things. Make sure the object's available. Make sure your REST Apex class is enabled. I know if these two steps aren't done, it's not going to work. And do these two steps. And with newer um, Salesforce instances, I've seen that, you know, I did all these steps and it's still not working. And if I went into the code and if I did with sharing and without sharing, it was working. Um, so if you're having more issues, try that as well.